Hi and welcome back. So uh, I will continue with the small missile in this part, and I would really like to finish it here and then just uh, get to the mechanism here. There I know some more details, but I'm not sure about them so far. So anyway, uh, I will start with this missile here, the small one, which will be uh, released after the start of the main missile there. So I will select it and hide unselect it because really we don't need to see anything else and. Uh, we can uh, change a bit the shape of that, of course. Uh, I mean, it don't look so bad, but the back part looks a bit to scale up. I mean, it's too big. So, uh, what I will do, I will scale this uh, a bit down, just to fit uh, the other dimensions there. So, I will select uh, the edges here, ring them, control, poly, also this one. And now, in this view, I will just scale it down. Now, how much depends on you. I guess like this, it should be fine. Yeah, it's a bit better. Now it's not so big, and the proportion is similar to the to the front so It's fine. Now uh, let's go to the top view, and I will make a bit larger this part here. So what I will do, I will just drag this a bit back, and. After that, also this I will make a bit smaller. So the warhead here or anything, uh, how to call that, uh, will look uh, a bit more, a bit more larger. So anyway, we'll place there more details a bit later. So uh, right now, let's go to the back part. Now this will be the engine part like we had on the main missile. So what we have to do here is very simple. One more bevel, I will guess. Oops. So we'll make a bevel. Let's say like this. Well, it's a bit too much here. It's a bit less, so one more time. Yeah, that's better. So here we go with a bevel now. I will do a few insets here. Now let's say this one, this one, and like this. <coughs> now again with the bevel we'll do the inside. So just go back and again back. So just to make a shape like that. Of course if you are not happy with that uh, like in the part before, you can move the bodies and adjust. Just adjust this part here. You can also select this, ring that, connect once, and using the scale tool, you can make it a bit more deeper. Okay, now select this here, the shape which we did, or the inset. Control poly, and now with this one, we'll go just back. And again, create a, a kind of border here. Now, uh, keep selecting this or deselect that better. Select this small body here. Go to the selection. Uh, yeah, one more time until there. And from the top view, I will just drag this a bit here. Okay. Oops. Now let's set to zoom. Now uh, I will apply also triple smooth on this, just to see how it will um, chamfer. Uh, how it will smooth? My bad. It's okay. This looks more more or less good. What I will do here is one more connect and. Selecting this poly, control, vert, I will collapse them into one. Where we are. Yeah, here we are. So collapse. Okay. Okay, so so far this is the bag. I will do the chamfers a bit later. I will just uh, I just want to right now uh, fly around the model and look what else we can do here. So uh, let's start uh, with the front part here. What we can do here is very simple, something similar we did also on the main shape. Uh, 
select one edge, bring them control poly. Now we'll inset this a bit. I will apply extrude, local normal, and I'll go a bit up just to make something like this. Nothing more. And if we are here, we can also do the chamfers here right now. So we'll go from the uh, front to the back and try to adjust all the details we have to. Or we want to, of course. <coughs> okay. Now here, uh, so far, just uh, just a small loop and a chamfer. The chamfer uh, can be a bit bigger here. 005, and I will apply the same value also to these ones, just not to forget. Loop, chamfer. Uh, like that. Now, here will be the fly wing, uh, like in the part before. Uh, if to do here another detail, probably not, but uh, for sure, chamfer would be nice here to these edges. Okay. Okay, let's go do the chamfers also here. Now I will keep this probably untouched, even that. Hmm, I don't know so far here. So I will think about that. Now here I will do a chamfer, uh, here a slightly bigger one. Like this. And here we are to the engine uh, again, small ones, just to make the shape. How we want to have it. So, too big, of course, like this, enough. Okay. <coughs> so, now uh, smaller details to the shape, uh, quite uh, hard to imagine what to do here. Anyway, we can do it a bit later. Now, first of all, I want to do the uh, fly wings there. And when we have the fly wings, we'll see how many space we have there, and we can decide if to place there more uh, details or not. So, what I will do, I will do the same which I did before. So, I will apply the subdivision. I will uncheck smooth result, and I will convert this back to poly. Now, like this, I will uh, get here a lot of new edges with which I can work, but also I will get more options to do the fly wings. Okay, about that uh, we can apply triple smooth. So far we don't care. Now let's go to the top view. Uh, okay, yeah, turn this off. Yeah, I'm sort of afraid that I check there the smoothing groups. That but I haven't. So uh, we need to apply the fly wings to well uh, the same position we did before, so in the middle of the shape. So if I'm looking right, uh, here should be the this poly here. Well, let's go to perspective together with this one, I guess. Out. Now, from this view, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks like the right one. So, this or that. It looks to me I need to select here a bit more police like before. So it looks uh, for me that I need to select this free one to be in the middle, but looking there from this view, I don't need this, so it's a bit strange. Let's go better to move the uh, select tool. Okay, so uh, it should be these edges there. So uh, let's go to the top view and perform an inset. Now the inset again 
uh, it would be not so big just be uh, just quite small and now it depends on the details which you have uh, want to have there I will deselect this and start to work just with that this one in the back now um, <coughs> the fly wings should be for sure like here should be Tena here Martika so uh, you can adjust that uh, I will probably do do that so uh, let's go here to edge and to scale and what I will do I will just adjust the first one and the next uh, we'll just copy the shape a bit I should, uh, they should continue so the polyflow uh, the shape should be quite nice so something like that. Anyway, you can play with that. You can do anything you want. <coughs> okay, let's go to the front view and we'll make an extrude. Okay, my bevel bevel here. Extrude or bevel doesn't matter here too much. So here will be just important the bevel. So this one, like if you go to a triangle. Probably a bit too much, like that. Now from the front view, we can go away from here. Uh, we can adjust if it will be straight or not. And if we have it like that, we can go a bit deeper with this. So, um, and also like this. So we can adjust uh, it however we want. Now about the height or how big it should be, uh, phew, it's really uh, up to you, absolutely. It's ha hard to decide here how big this kind of shape should be. It should be just enough. Anyway, it's just a small missile, like here in the top, the fly wings could be or can be uh, bigger or smaller, it's up to anyway. For us it's important that the shape will be nice and smooth. So uh, let's turn this on, we'll go with the two and here we go. The fly wings very fast dead, very nice looking. There's just one of course, we'll copy it a bit later. Okay, so uh, let's go back here. So uh, as you can see I'm trying to use the same uh, tools, techniques and anything what I did before and with respect of that uh, we can also make here a small extrude a very small extrude uh, like that let's say like that uh, group should be better now going here like here we should start the fly wing uh, again, <coughs> using the edge constant, you can transform this to an arrow shape. So, going from smaller size to bigger size, shaping this a bit more. You can also make the fly wing smaller than here. And I don't know, a lot of options we have, of course. It's our model, so we can do whatever we want. Now, uh, again, from the front view, uh, we use the bell. Now, the bell probably we can, yeah, keep uh, as we did, or as we had the same value like here in the back. Just uh, adjust the size of this. So we can do something like that and scale it in this axis. make the fly, fly wing uh, look a bit different and now uh, we'll do some connects so first of all I will ring this shape like that hit connect and move it to the edge now the same here Oops. this one connect now here just minus 60 now also here I uh, will do um, here a small chamfer to the shape 
Probably we can do it also here. Oops. Lost the back. Okay. And uh, let's look. Yeah. So as you can see here in the front, uh, the flowering looks different than there at the back. And now you can just decide, like me, uh, that this one probably should be a bit bigger. Maybe like that. Okay. So, uh, straight now, it will be good to copy both of these. Uh, so, what I will do, I'll delete that. I need to select just the top of the poly. So, let's go from like this. Deselect, deselect. And I'll go back. Okay, probably. I will need here a bit more space. Oh, I did. Okay, I will copy them one by one. More productive here. <coughs> okay, so uh, one more time. From the front view, I will select this and in perspective. I'll just grow that. <coughs> now, uh, as you know, uh, let's go uh, from the left view now, from the right view. We need to copy that exactly to the sides. You can also do more, not just four firings, but more, but I know it will look probably a bit strange. So, what I'll do, uh, I'll try and zoom on this a bit more. Holding down shift, I will, I will copy the shape, but so I will move that and move back. We'll clone this to object, call it temp. We'll select my new object. I will align them. The pilot will align. Yeah, it's to the, it's in the center, so I I don't need to align anything. So it's fine. So what I what I need to do is just to copy it by ninety degrees. Copy three times. Now I need to place it there. Now this uh, probably better to do from this view. So I will just select the police beneath that because without this I will not be able to merge the word. So we'll select and hit delete. So there should be a hole. Now let's go here. Here should be a hole, and one more time. Uh, of course, you could do this uh, straight on the shape. Like when you do one wing, you can do all of them. But I don't like this. Uh, you know, if you do any bigger details to that. It's much more easier to do it at one model than at four. We have here the temp one more time, so I will just delete that. And now I will attach these two. Now I will need to select the words like this. It's always uh, a bit risky because uh, it's fine. You can weld some chamfers, but so uh, we're going with the smallest value. We shouldn't have any problems with that. Okay, so we have the back. Already, it looks much better than it was before. It's because just the cylinder shape don't look any special. It's like by the lightsaber tutorial, you know. Basically, the saber is just a cylinder with some details, but without the details, it looks very strange. So. With the details, it looks fine and, of course, great. Uh, okay, uh, let's yeah, let's go here to the to the front part, and I will do the same like I did before. In the front view, I will select this Z or zoom on that in perspective view. 
I will grow this selection until here. <coughs> now from the left view, again, I will hold on shift, move it a bit, move it absolutely back, clone to an object, I will select that object, so the same procedure I did before, hold on shift, 90 degrees three times, delete the thumb and we will just attach that back together. So again, I will select police below or under these shapes or the wings and just press delete. So uh, if you are worried that you will not delete everything, don't worry about that because after we will apply to Tribus mode, you will see if you don't have any floating words or double words and stuff like that. And then you just uh, will fix that. Nothing hard to do. One more time, I'll select everything here, but before probably it will be fine to attach the wings together. So this one, this this is the original one that that. Okay, one step back. Oh, I was deleting it. Yeah, it should be fine. So, one more time. So everything here. Well, the smallest value. Let's apply Trooper Smooth straight on that. So we'll go with two. And here we go. Um, by this, I wasn't moving the front wings uh, and rotating them because I'm just a bit afraid that by rotating in a like 45 degrees to a side, we will have problems to attach to the main missile. I'm not sure about this, uh, and because that I wasn't doing that so far, but we'll just uh, look. We can, if, if yes, I will straight move that, looking a bit better. No, I don't think I can, because the rocket will be rotated a bit. So the wings, let's say, uh, will be between this, so it will be somewhere here. Maybe, oops. yeah, maybe like that. And I'm, I'm afraid that uh, after these wings, if I will rotate them, they will interact with this, and I will have to move it more to the side, the rocket, and it will be looking a bit strange. So uh, I will not do that. Anyway, I will hide unselected and. Well, just look if we can do here a bit more details or not. Of course, we could place here again screws, ah, but I think there will be too much in this model. I'm just more screws than anything else. So I will do that. Uh, but still, probably we have some some place for uh, a detail or two, like here. Uh, I can select this and make here the extrude. Oops. So let's say like that. So I will create here a gap, and the shape will be again a bit more interesting in the back. You see. What else we can do here? Yeah, it's um, you see, it's um, really a bit more interesting now. What is this? It looks like a hole. Well, I, by deleting with it, so just cap that. <coughs> okay, what else? Oh. Um, <coughs> 
sorry for that. Hmm. So um oh here to the to the middle I think there's no need to place anything to the back too. Uh one thing uh, just we can do there is the name shield uh, which we did before. <coughs> um and uh of course we can do it also the same way. So we'll just grab uh this police or more. Oh before it was better. This police holding down shift calling to a new object. Uh we'll just make mm, the back so control control edge probably in the local mule uh view it should be better but it's the same anyway I will just drag a bit shape there I will cap that quickly yeah, I could do also, I think, a bridge. No, it doesn't matter. Like that, I can do also. This here. Control A, weld. If there's something to weld. I think the world. So if this shape it looks a bit bad. And yeah it is. And the reason why it's probably that that I was first making these cuts. So I will do it one more time. Just to be sure that I'm uh, not talking anything or not. Oh, it's very strange. Strange too much of them. So, uh, like that or like this. <coughs> Another matter uh, to do this is just to keep it like that. Because anyway, we don't need the back. I think nobody saw this coming. Uh, <coughs> sexually, very common strategy by object like this really you don't need the bag so why to waste the poly there poly or two so what I will do here just a few connects on the other hand how I will solve that if I will need that probably flip this extrude and flip back Something like that. I had this also in my mind, but just uh, I had no time to do that. So, oops, wrong time. Ring, con no, connect. Um, yep. We'll apply on this Trubism two. Hmm, certain perspective, and we'll just um, move this back. So there will be a name issue like before. It's a nice kind of detail, very small, but nice. So, missile small name. Okay, <coughs> okay. So uh, I think there is enough of any kind of details there, and really here is no need to place any screws or stuff like that. Um, you could do a texture like that with them. You could also do that yourself. You know, you don't know how, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so for sure we don't need 
the inside or outside here. Ah, from the front view, we'll delete the screws. Or even better, I'll select all of them. Deselect the rocket and this. I'll just try if I have only that. Oh, I, I have also the name shield. Team. Still, team. I will group all screws together. It will save me some time if I will need hide and unhide stuff like that. Okay, all screws group. Uh, temp screws and just hide them. Okay, let's select our small missile together with a shield, with a name shield, and let's try to place it somewhere here, right in the middle of that. Like you have to space it off. Let's go down. Go more down. We should go somewhere here. A bit less. Top view a bit more. And like this. Somewhere here should be the missile. Now also the opposite missile and next one, next one, next one. So four of them. Four should be enough. Of course, uh, just to make it look bigger, we can move it a bit. I mean, we have here space enough, so we can do that. Can go also a bit down, but like this, uh, we already have a crater cap between the main part. It will mean that the joining or releasing mechanism uh, will be bigger than I uh, wanted at the beginning. Anyway, we have here enough space. Anyway, also rotate to that. I will think about that. If to rotate or not, and well, for some other things. Anyway, uh, how it will look, the stuff. So here will be some kind of box, on which will be the claws which are holding this. There, uh, then a lot of wires. So I will do here a box with the claws. Here too, between them, wires, stuff like that. And I will just copy that. So probably that I will do in the next part. So far, uh, I will just think about if to rotate this or not. Uh, of course, also about on details and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I think uh, I know how, how long is this part. Probably not so long, like the other parts. But uh, okay, I don't know. like they said, uh, we should stop. When, uh, until we can, and also in the best moments. So I think it's right now. So uh, I will end with finished uh, this small missile and the concept of this here. So I hope you enjoy so far. So I will see you in the next part and in the next parts after that part. I don't know how much. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you. Bye bye.